Hey viewers, one of my viewers asked for a video on how to install the, the newer style uh, brakes that have uh, recessed mounts on an older type frame that's designed uh, for brakes with a nutted mount. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'll show you how to do that. For a close-up of what these look like, this is an older style brake uh, with a uh, nutted mount. This is the rear brake. And so it's got like these little washers here that fit over the uh, uh, little brake uh, bridge. Um, and then this is a newer style here. Um, it's got this recessed nut here. Um, so like on this so this style here, the nut is going to fit like on the, the, uh, the back side here where this newer style, this recessed nut is actually going to fit inside with only a little part uh, protruding out. And so the uh, bolt is uh, significantly shorter on the newer style brakes. Now one method with the rear brake is to actually use a front brake. Uh, the front brake is uh, going to have a longer bolt there. So remove the recessed nut and this has also got the little uh, concave washer here uh, with a uh, wider diameter uh, curve in here for the front fork. Go ahead and put those aside. And then what you do is get a couple uh, of the little concave washers with the smaller diameter uh, for the uh, bridge there. Put one on there. Fit the brake on. And then put another uh, concave washer on the back side here and then I'm going to use just a regular flat washer and the nut that came from the nutted brake and so I'll screw this on and so now I have that mounted on there like that that's one method of how to do this now another method, which is the prettiest method, I think, is to drill a slightly larger hole back here, big enough to fit the recessed nut. Um, so this will fit on here just like normal, and then you have a recessed nut go in there. And the size of hole you need, and you only need to drill it on the one side, is 8 millimeters. Uh, unfortunately, 8 millimeter drills, at least here in the U.S., are not real common. So what you use is a 5 16 inch drill, uh, and you might have to ream it out a little bit, and then that will fit in there like this. Now the problem with drilling back here is the uh, tight space between here and the, uh, the seat tube. So the problem is, is if you use a regular drill, you ain't going to fit it in there. So what you need to use is a right angle drill. So even with, at least with this one here, it's still just a little bit tight there, but you can kind of fit this in there and drill that hole there. Um, or you can maybe get a Dremel, or if I had a, sh a shorter bit here, but a 5 16 inch uh, bit, and drill that out just in through the one side, and then I could fit the brake on there, that recessed nut would fit in there. I would also want to include a concave washer on the back side because this is not flat. Normally like on a uh, recessed mount there's going to be a little flat spot back there for the uh, thing to meet up with. So you'd use a recessed nut on the, the one side and use a concave washer on the other side and this also needs to be drilled out to uh, eight millimeters there. So the recessed nut will fit through there and go into the hole and then mount into the brake like that. And now yet another option, since it's hard to drill back in there, is to drill on the other side of this brake bridge, on the back side. And so if you drilled the hole there, you could fit the brake on the inside here like this and then, again, using a concave washer there, you would put the recessed nut in through the back there and mount the brake on the inside here. That's another option like that. So I'm going to use my right angle drill to drill a hole in the back side of the brake bridge here. Now once you have your hole drilled, 
take the recessed nut, make sure it's going to fit in there, and that's going to fit fine. So now I can just take my brake. I'm using a concave uh, washer on the on this side of the bridge. I'm going to use a concave washer on the back side of the bridge, and this is the one that's drilled out with a uh, 15, 5 16 inch hole there uh, that the uh, recessed nut will fit through. And then screw this in. Then you're ready to hook up the, uh, the cables on this one. And then this is what the mount looks like on the back side. So you've got the, the two concave washers and the recessed nut going in there. Now for the front fork, you're going to use the, uh, the brake with the, uh, the longer bolt there. And that'll fit in through like that. And then there's also a, uh, a concave washer there, but it's a uh, wider diameter. And so that'll fit in through like that. And then you're going to want a recessed nut to fit in the back here. Again, you're going to have to drill this hole out to 8 millimeters or 5 sixteenths and, and ream that out. So that's what I'm going to do here. Then use a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of lubricating oil there. Then test fit the uh, recessed nut. Make sure that it's going to go in through the hole there. And yep, it's going to fit. Now I'm ready to mount the brake on the front. I'm using a uh, concave washer that uh, it's, a, it's a wider radius here so uh, match up with the curvature of the front of the fork there. So I'll fit that in the hole. I've got my uh, recessed nut here. I'm going to slide that in and have it so it meets up with the, the end of the bolt there. And then using my hex wrench, screw that on there and tighten that into place. Get the brake roughly in line there and then I can tighten that in. You could use a concave washer back there if you'd like, um, but I don't think it's really necessary. Another little thing you could do is countersink just a little bit into the hole there for the, uh, the head of this uh, recessed nut. But again, I don't think that's really necessary. Doesn't look half bad like how it is like that. So tighten that on. And so now you got the brake mounted on the front and it's all ready to uh, hook a cable, cable up to. Anyway, that is how to mount uh, recess mounted brakes on a vintage bike frame. I hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on the video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.